Welcome, welcome, everybody. I am so excited to finally welcome Vanessa Kai to the program. Uh, Shifu, please welcome. Uh, everybody has been uh, has been watching the show, and if you have not watched the show, by the way, please click below and go watch Kung Fu on CW. It's awesome. Um, we were all, I mean, you know, Gavin was hulking out because there was no Kung Fu on last week, uh, which I missed as well. But you know, I have my gear. I'm going to practice uh, Kung Fu uh, in. Uh, what about four hours is is when my uh, my training starts after the workday, so yeah. Um, Amazing. Um, listen, it's it's uh, it's the it's the love of kung fu uh, for a real reason. It's not just uh, it's not just talking about it. I'm doing it, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it is because I can't continue talking to all of the actors that I have on and all the martial artists if I'm not doing it myself. So you guys are keeping me motivated, which I really appreciate. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, that's great. How long have you been tra um, training? Uh, again, on and off, right? So I started training as a kid. I think judo was my first uh, martial art. Then I went into fencing. Uh, I did uh, fencing for a while. Uh, I did some uh, some karate uh, back in, uh, in the former Soviet Union, which is where I came from. Then got here, I did uh, some uh, kind of a combo hand-to-hand -hand, uh, uh, working with the really really great uh, great uh, sifu who is he's trained the russian uh, special forces uh, you know back there so he has his own kind of mix and blended style so i did that for a while until i almost got my eye poked out and i said i'm done oh my god <laughs> it's the knife, <laughs> yeah. knife training sparring and uh, it was a hard rubber knife and i wasn't wearing oh. goggles everybody who's training please wear goggles don't don't be stupid wear uh, goggles, guys yeah. everyone gals everyone mm -hmm. yes yeah. Did that, then took a break, and then I'm finally now into the into a JKD and uh, Kali uh, school with their own blended, uh, you know, style of a lot of things that are uh, based on Guru Dada Asante, based on uh, you know Bruce Lee's uh, uh, methodology. So I'm in that school. So is my son, and I kind of got back into it. So that's my martial arts story. Bravo. Thank you. All right. Enough about me. I know the 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 people who are watching my show keep telling me to shut up. So I will do my best. Uh, Vanessa, I am so happy to uh, to see you. And as an actor, uh, one of the first things that I was thinking is, well, they get you on a great show, right? So they're talking to you and saying, Vanessa, here's here's the deal. You book the show. It's awesome. You're one of the main characters. You die in the final. <laughs> I was thinking, what was that conversation like? And then they said, oh, but you're going to be appearing a lot. And uh, it's just, you know, it, it, we'll we'll do it in a nice way. Did that ever come up in that same way of, you're great, we love you, you die in a pilot? No, no. Um, uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, actually, when I got the appointment um, at, to audition, uh, I already knew this ahead of time. That oh. that was already part of the storyline, so I, I I knew what I uh, was uh, uh, joining and, and walking into. Um, and but the thought of um, actually um, appearing in flashbacks and uh, it's 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 not a it's not a negative thing. It's actually quite a beautiful thing. It's a mm -hmm. really beautiful thing to be remembered and and to have a life after death and and to appear in flashbacks as as I have been in 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 the last couple episodes. Yeah, and uh, my parents asked me once because I was excited that I was finally going to have my death scene on, uh, you know, on on screen. And they're like, "Well, we don't want you to die." I said, "I'd rather die on screen than in real life." So, oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> this, this way, I can have fun with it, and then I can watch myself, and it's all good. I, I'm safe. So yes, 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 yeah. No, it's been it's been really a a fantastic treat, and I think that it um, I think the 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 interesting part is um. Though I my character does die in in, in the uh, pilot episode, yeah. um, what has been a really exciting journey is I too we're all learning about her, yeah. you know, uh, as as the series uh, as the as the the show progresses, and so I it doesn't feel like the story had ended in the pilot episode. It's it feels like it's just only beginning. So um, and that's actually really quite exciting. It is, absolutely. And uh, I completely agree with what you're saying, that every uh, episode we're learning something new and, it, and it's taking a turn that we didn't necessarily expect. How much of it, from an acting perspective, 
did you know of where it's going or is it every week you're kind of uh, along for the ride? Right. Um, so while we were in quarantine, um, so we yes. arrived in Vancouver back in September. So while we were in quarantine, um, Christina Kim and Bob Behrens, they did a fantastic job by having a one-on-one -on -one with all of us um, over yeah. Zoom. And um, I, you know, I didn't expect that. And that was something, and because this is also uh, my first uh, series regular role. And so um, I come from a theater, but thank you so very much. Thank you. Um, so I come from a theater background. And so uh, that background means that I sit with the writer and the director, and we already have an entire from start to finish of what the story is like. Um, in my, uh, you know, um, previous experience in, in, in working in, in television specifically, right, because mm -hmm. in film, you might know more, but in television, I only know as we go along, we all know as we go along. So, um, but in this process, especially in a pilot, I um, didn't know what to expect. So the fact that they actually invited uh, each of us to have a one-on-one -on -one with us and to have this kind of um, collaborative conversation, um, an inclusive one at that was really um, joyful. It's really freaking exciting. Um, because then that meant that like they, it, it's exciting to me that they already that you know that I'm learning so much. They've already had so much of this entire season, uh, you know, sort of mapped out, you know, mm -hmm. and and so they already had, and so it gave me um, so much wonderful time and an opportunity to to sit in it and to work on it and to live with it. Um, now, in terms of like, they did give me some tidbits, you know, like an episode so-and-so, this is going to be happening. And I go, oh, okay, so anything might change, but for now, this is sort of like the bones of it. And I said, oh, okay. And so, but what happens later, then, you know, then I'll find out as, as we get a little further along. Yeah, because as an actor, I don't want to know because I want to play it the way that it's truthful for me. And I know a lot of things are shot out of sequence, I get it, but mm -hmm. like, I, I know just me as a watcher when I'm watching a particular movie and then you realize that, you know, the cliffhanger at the end, oh, he knew and he was actually doing this. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go rewatch it now and watch the actor to see if he's actually, you know, holding that somehow and if I can catch it. Oftentimes, no, because the actors themselves do not know. Uh, I, you know, we can say how great uh, some people are but it's very, very difficult not to let anything come out when you already know. So I don't want to know, and <laughs> I'm glad that uh, kind of they didn't keep everything uh, in the open. Yes, yes, no, they, they really didn't. And I think that also they, they made it um, uh, very uh, clear that a lot of things could change. So <laughs> whenever, right, and then so whenever we were shooting a very specific scene, um, whatever that would lead to the future, then we always left room for shooting multiple takes of whatever that potentially could be. Um, so then that has been um, also really uh, helpful. And is there any improv or, uh, again, the writers seem to be doing a great job, so I'm not sure if there is a need for it, but was there any improv that they allow it to? Oh, gosh. Um... No, I think that the bones of, of the, the storyline tends to be rather set. Um, yeah. If there happens, to, I think that in terms of improv feels more like actionable things of whether, yeah. you know, of, of like how do I or we engage with our environment. So, you know, uh, on the day of, um, the director will come and say, oh, well, these are the bones of how I see blocking this scene. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, but for, um, I like to use, make use of my space. I like to engage with my environment. So I sort of take a quick gander of like what's around me and like, and, and allow uh, myself to, to get in touch with what um, moves organically. So I think that in that sense, that becomes improvisational. And, but also, but in terms of language, I think that no, not, I wouldn't say so much. If there is, however, certain things that feels, um, not in alignment to our character um, uh, or if we happen to feel that like, oh, like we're not quite understanding or how can we, um, I, I haven't found a way in in, in this specific sentence, um, mm -hmm. then they have been very uh, wonderful about uh, answering any questions or allowing for um, a, a collaborative uh, discussion. It, they've been fantastic. 
That's that's very uh, that's great to hear, right? Not every place is like that. <laughs> not every I've heard. Uh, that is like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel um, it's really fascinating because I really feel like we're quite spoiled. So <laughs> you know, I mean, because this is our experience, and then now I'm like, oh, nothing's ever going to be as good as this. I well, yeah. uh, the the show got picked up for season two, so hopefully, you know, it continues going, and uh, yeah. we'll we'll leave it at that. There is a huge part of me that's that's wanting to ask you lots of questions about, you know, it's is peeling apart of season two, but I'm gonna shut up. I'm not gonna ask any of those questions. We're just going to find out like the rest of the people. Um, okay, so but in terms of uh, so you mentioned the action sequences, right? And you know, uh, when it comes to your character, there is. There is a lot of uh, stillness, but there is uh, quite a bit of action. So how long, the action scene specifically, how long did it take for you guys to shoot them? And again, I know Brett Chan was uh, was with you guys for the first uh, half a uh, uh, season and then uh, other folks took over. Is there a lot of uh, practice before? Is it the, the, the Hong Kong way of doing the action scenes, which is kind of map things out and go do it? Uh, or is it the American way of doing it, which is lots of practice and then you're just shooting that one thing? Oh, what an excellent question. Um, this, um, so the fight scene that you've seen me uh, so far uh, doing yes. is is one with Jilan, right? Pei Ling and Jilan, and that's in the pilot episode. So um, we we were in Vancouver back in March of 2020 before we sh got shut down and we were only shooting for four days. So I had already started okay. uh, training, um, uh, stunt training uh, from the moment that I landed, right? And then so so what is, is very specific to that fight scene is, is that it was going to be the mark of igniting what is to follow. Um, and that, and so, so there was, so specifically uh, Brett, Spoke to both myself and uh, and uh, Jalan. It, it just it was speaking for me personally in terms of who is my character, what type of fighting style am I doing, and also he is such an, an actor's uh, choreographer, you know, a yeah. stunt trainer. Um, because then he he's coming from a place of this is why you do this move, and so everything becomes very intentional. So it's 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 yes, it is. Uh, a fight sequence. Uh, it most certainly is choreography, and it has a lot of language in that um, because it's so specific to um, pace and momentum, and it becomes like a crescendo of how we get to the end. Uh, I would have to say that we did practice quite a bit for that. For that, um, and I would have to say probably about two weeks because there's so much geography about how we land and how we stop. Um, and then uh, not to mention then becomes like our stunt doubles becomes the rigging and then she needs to be, she needs to be flown back. Um, yeah. thank you, Jen. Thank you. Um, <laughs> for taking all the, the bruises and the punches for me. Yeah. So that one specifically took a, took a, I would have to say took a while. Um, and then also normally, again, this is like my first, right. And so my, my, my learning curve was huge. And so initially uh, I was informed that, okay, we would be shooting in, in sequences, like little small parts, little small parts, little mm -hmm. small parts, and then it'll all be clean. Um, but I, 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 I am coming from theater. So I'm like, you know what? Like I, this is what I learned in school. PPP, be present, be prompt and be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, well, I think just for my understanding of how this goes, of what, what the storyline of what this is, let us practice what it's like without stopping. Yeah. This technically could have been a 10 minute fight nonstop. Mm -hmm. And so, but they, there was so much of it, they actually had to cut it out. And then on the day of, we actually shot it in one full shot. Nice. And then so and then towards the end, I was like, wow, I'm so glad that we practiced it that way. <laughs> yeah. And all and all the and all the rehearsal that went into it. Yeah, and then they I'm assuming they did coverages after that and all sorts of things. Uh, exactly. Yes, you know it. No, the whole fight uh, uh, sequence, it's it's really complex. Uh, and you alluded to the fact that we're not just talking from the technical perspective, but 
I love, and you know, this is uh, uh, kudos to Brad. Brad, if you're watching, you're cool. Um, of what he did on Warrior as well, of making sure that every fight has a reason and it's just as much of a scene as anything else. It's just this one has action uh, with it. But it's very hard to do, to be able to do that over and over and over and over again, be present, be fully uh, you know, engaged in what you have to do as an actor and then add martial arts on top of that. It's I have lots of respect for that. Yeah, it's um, thank you. Yeah, it was very exciting, very very exciting. A lot of hard work, and I'm I'm I I'm pretty proud of it. I think that a lot of that hard work paid off. Yeah, which leads to the question of uh, you kind of alluded to that fact too. Of Brad asked, like he did, all the folks on Warrior. You know, uh, what what do you think your style is in terms of your you know fighting style is? What's your background in martial arts, and what was your answer to his question? Oh, well, okay, so I have very limited, uh, I come from a dance background, mostly, mm -hmm. and uh, so a lot of that performance experience, right, um, and language of the body is, is, is very familiar to me. Uh, with regards to, to um, martial arts specifically, I, um, ha I'm a bit of an a in and out, lightly training in Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, wonderfully so, I'm, my husband is a Muay Thai instructor, so I, I have a personal trainer at home <laughs> whenever he's like, are you getting it up today? And I go, maybe? I don't know. Um, no, so I, I've had, I, I have some uh, experience in that uh, on and off for the last few years. Uh, so that, um, I think, when Brett was at, would ask me about um, my fighting style or uh, Pei Ling's fighting style. It's, yes. it's uh, her was the crane, uh, graceful, um, but needs to be powerful when necessary and, yes. and, and comes as a surprise. Um, and uh, yeah, so, and, and that was mainly her, her fighting style uh, from, uh, yeah. I think it would be so much fun and completely inappropriate, but it would be so cool at least like I wish what they what they would have done, they probably didn't have time or you know budget, but uh, to have you actually do Muay Thai as Pei Ling, that would have been hilarious. You know, somebody oh who's who's God. teaching Shaolin to all of a sudden say, you know what, Jalan, this is not working for me. I'm gonna switch to uh, I'm gonna switch oh to Muay Thai. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Oh, that would have been so. I want to see that. I want to see that. That would be so great. Rough. Uh, and the location. That's the other thing I wanted to ask you. The location is gorgeous. So uh, is that is that a set that they built, or is that a uh, an actual place that uh, you went to? It is the monastery. is actually a set they built. Oh my God, it's awesome. I know, I know. I actually took a lot of behind the scenes um, BTS uh, pictures that um, I plan on posting it at some point. Um, but uh, it really is, and so it's uh, it's really beautiful. They had uh, where uh, where uh, I get thrown or Palin gets thrown. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's all it's all within a huge stage, and that's one of the sets. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's gorgeous. And I have to say that um, also the beauty of it is also the incredible production value, the the lighting and the 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 uh, photography, the camera work, the direction. It's it's truly stellar. I what I saw when you're in real time, and then when I turned around and saw and was watching the monitor was. I, I literally was like, oh, is it, it looks like this. <laughs> I was like, really like, oh my God, that is gorgeous. Look at these colors. Oh, it's, it's stunning. Truly it stunning. is, it is quite beautiful. It's uh, from a cinematography perspective, it's really, really enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's cool that Vancouver can really look like, you know, New York, San Francisco, you know, whatever you want to make it, they can do it. It's awesome. For sure. Oh, my gosh. So there's this one scene where uh, where Nikki and I, Olivia and I, we're, we're standing um, on the lip of, of uh, this marsh, if you will, and we're staring out into the, the mountains of Yunnan province, right? Yeah. That yeah. literally is Wijin. Wijin is a park up in Vancouver. Are you familiar? It, lit it took us, it, it's so high up. Um, and it was raining that day, 
And uh, and it was fine. It was actually hilarious. I, I, the hilarious part is like, there we are trying to stand still, but we felt ourselves sinking into the mud as we're saying <laughs> our lines. <laughs> or then at some point, like, oh, and my line is, um, I think Paleen line is, uh, uh, come, it's it's uh, it's getting dark, and I yeah. and I and I turn and I walk off, and then at some point I like slip. Oh shit. <laughs> I felt my foot just went, and then, and then Liv just like, <laughs> it was like, cut, let's do this again. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I remember yeah. that scene. That's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, like all of that stuff. I, I, I want more behind the scenes. I want more bloopers. I want things to, uh, to come out because it's, it shows the, the, uh, not just the, the reality of what, what it's like uh, to uh, shooting it, but I think it connects the audience be, uh, to the to the performer. You know, Liv is hilarious, but we wouldn't know that Liv is hilarious just by watching the show. Uh, it's the behind the scenes that l allow us to connect uh, to her more as a human being, and that's what I want to see more. Yeah, she is really <clears throat> funny. She is she's so funny, and she's a she's uh, she's such a jokester as well. Because one of her favorite things is to to to, to bust out into a dance move in the middle of, of something yeah. and um, it's actually quite quite hilarious. I love working with Olivia. She's amazing. I adore her. Perfect. Um, Olivia, if you're watching, come on down. I've invited you a few times. You're, you're welcome. Uh, all right, I know you need to run. So as we're wrapping this up, um, and I'm trying to ask this carefully without ruining things for myself also, but what would you, as as Vanessa, what would you like to see for Paling uh, coming up into the end of season one and then uh, beyond? It's dangerous territory. I'm, I'm, oh my yeah. gosh, Helen! Um, so dangerous. Uh, I don't have an answer. Um, I. I know what's going to happen, but you're going to have to yeah. sit and, and, and watch. But what do I hope for? Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm afraid I'm not that smart um, that the, the writers, truly, I'm really not that smart. Um, Christina and Bob and all the writers in the writer's room, every time they come up with this fantastic, you know, each episode, it just gets better and better. And they think of storylines and twists and plot turns that I had never once even, I can't, I can't even begin to, to, to wrap my mind around it. So I, I honestly feel like anything that I would say just feels very, so limited. And I feel like, okay. what it, yeah, and it would not be nearly as exciting as I think that what they would have in store. So I think I'm just have to wait for them. No, that's, that's good. So uh, knowing that you already wrapped season one, I, I'll ask, I'll ask it differently this way. Are you happy with, uh, you know, season one? I am. I good. really am. I think it says a lot about um, every uh, um, script, every time an episode comes out and a new script comes out, um, all of us get incredibly excited. And I think that that's a testament to how all, how invested all of us are in our show uh, and in the story. Uh, but also what fans we are of the writing and the writers and the story and the showrunners and storytellers and that how we continue to be this excited um, and that every table read that we have we always wanted to um, give it our best and we always want to be invested um, so so yeah uh, did I answer the question I got lost sorry yeah, no, <laughs> you, you were expressing uh, your happiness and appreciation, which is what yeah, I wanted to so, do. So. Yeah, and, and so, to, so yeah, am I, am I incredibly happy with season one? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Well, Vanessa, um, please come back. I want to continue our conversation. So oh, I'd love to. After, after season one is done, so we can talk more about it. That sounds great. And then so you stay tuned, you watch all the things, you, you'll know all the things, and then we can, we can, uh, we can debrief. We can yes, come back. we, we can yeah. talk more about it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, best of luck uh, going in, and uh, we'll definitely talk again. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me, Alan. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And thanks to everybody for tuning in to another episode of Let's Dive In. Uh, again, if you have not watched Kung Fu, please do so right below this video. Go check it out and then join our discussions later on. Thank you, everybody. Mwah.